Hey guys, Tyler here. Monument Valley 2 just came out on Steam. I played Monument Valley 1 and its DLC about a year ago. I had to get on my iPad just to play it and then had software to stream it to the computer. So it's nice being able to play this in full screen. This is a mind-bending casual puzzle game that I think you guys will enjoy watching. So the goal is to get my character row to this weird platform up top and there is a little trick to how this world works. I can walk along the path, but I don't really get that far. There's a big cliff, so I gotta click this and, okay, drag it to rotate. Because this is the MC Escher painting of puzzle games. It's just a very trippy world where perspective can change a lot. A lot of cool tricks and ways to navigate. I really enjoyed the first one, and this second one should be just as fun. I expect to get through the whole game in one video. It's, as far as I know, not exactly a particularly long game. It was made for mobile devices and all that. But I'm excited. Monument Valley 2. This is a... It's like a brain scratcher and a brain soother at the same time. No other game that I know can really pull it off as well as this one can. Or at least the earlier episodes, if you will, did the vestibule, which Ro introduces her child to the valley. The strange area, almost like a public square. Oh, oh nice, okay. A separate character. Am I gonna control two characters at once? Is that the big new twist of the game? You know, it's good to see that Ro has moved on with her life and started a family. It's just, it's just the little things. They have a life outside of being the main character in a game. Oh, nice. The level has revealed itself. So I rotate this to probably bring them along the path to up here. And now that they've arrived, I may twist the bridge to send them to the button. Which unlocks another button. Well, hopefully it stays down. And it does. And twist the bridge over here. To find out what the hell this button does. Nice, it creates an exit. And requires me to twist more. Well, clearly I should twist this so I can... Well, just straight up walk to the exit. Oh, still falls into place. The game is extremely satisfying and I expect it to be followable along. It's gonna have some cool visual tricks. I don't know how difficult it will get. I know the first game, it had a very gentle ramp, but I mean, near the end, uh, you did have to think quite a bit. But I don't, I don't know the speed at which this will ramp. Whoa, welcome to a dark place. Pretty piano. Allowing me to get to the button. What do you do? Oh, nice. Let there be light. And what does this button over here do? Lowers us down. Now, there probably will be a story. There was a story in the first one. You had to kind of uncover it as it goes on. It was, a, it was a very minimalist story. This game actually has a bit of minimalism. I think it does it well. <laughs> oh, where's my child? You straight up took my child away from me? Oh, nope. There she... Wait, is? This is not my child. This is a ghost. Even in youth, we knew the work our mothers left for us. So is that my mother? Ro, I see fear. Do you forget how young we were? Whoop. Well, that was bizarre. Ah, I found the ice cream cone.
is a hat. A wearable ice cream cone. <laughs> that looks nothing like an ice cream cone. That was just the first thing I could think of. Maybe a top. Alright, section one complete. Tutorial probably over. It's like a film reel. It looks like it's a square or a cube, but it's not a cube. The oasis in which young eyes see new wonders. This has a little bit more navigation. They can walk up and I can drag this wall over here. And then this is a sliding path so I could get them on there, then probably move it. And away you go. And does this door just get me out? Sure. What might this area be, huh? Oh! One goes down, the other goes up. Well, get them equal height so I can transfer and move on in. There we go. Sometimes the doors teleport. This is just a reintroduction to slidey things. No, my kid! Oh my god. It's a landslide. I don't think I can interact. I think it just it just goes. It goes down. It goes down. Come back, child. Okay, we're not that far apart, but further apart than I would like to be. Oh my. Well, the only thing I can do is control. Oh no! Bro! Oh, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> It's just weird gravity. We're completely fine. <laughs> it scared the crap out of myself. I knew this this is how the game works. Just messing with the local gravity. I guess I'd forgotten. Okay, I guess I'm going to the kid. When do I get to control the kid independently? Like, I feel like once I do, the puzzles will open up. But really, it is good to just be back safely. How did I forget? Alright, how does this work? It's just the little elevator. How high does this go? Up to here? Can't actually do anything with that yet. So I probably want to get here so I can change my gravity. The curved path is very helpful at that. Stand here and then stand here. Come back down and... Now I can walk all the way over to this button. And, well, and the other button as well. Hmm. What is this all about? There's another button right here. Oh, putting the place back together. Very cool. Now is this where I place the artifact? Nice. Hold and drag to create something. I did it. I made that. Nice art creation thing. That's that's very cool. And another section complete. Moving on, trying to figure out what the deal is. Who is that ghostly person? I, my guess is either Rose's mother or Rose's husband? Anything else doesn't make sense in my mind. The viaduct in which the child learns her first lesson. Awesome, will I get to control them independently? and master space and time together. Well, it's almost hard to see with the fog. Just keep them moving. Okay, I think this is where the road ends. Okay, make some stairs. So one of us goes to one place and the other goes to their own place. Let there be light. And let's make it to our doors. Okay. So the child still kind of moves 
on its own. Another one of these places. Oh, 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 I see how this works. Okay, you gotta connect here, and it's weird, impossible geometry. It is easy to be nervous when she grows so quickly. Often the challenges we face do not require the strength to hold on, but the strength to let go. Well, so, the child still moves as I do, but does not get onto the bridge. I will get on the bridge, and then encourage the child on the bridge, and then encourage you to touch the button. Or maybe if I stand here, the child will stand here. Okay. So the child, like, mirrors your sections that you're in. So you just have to understand which section corresponds to which child's section. Why is everything falling? Okay, it's fine. What does this button do? Okay, that's not gonna work. I'll get the child to hold down this button. Maybe open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. And I got a button of my own. Interesting. I want the child to press this button over here. Hey, uh, you figured it out. So if I stand here, the child will stand in this middle section, and this could rotate, and then the bridge can complete. Oh. Okay, the doors are open. This game's teasing me. It's keep making me think that I'm gonna lose my child. It's gonna make probably when they do it for real all the more traumatizing. So the child would not go where I don't go, because it is considered to be unsafe. And I cannot turn this middle bridge while being on it. But maybe this will encourage the child to cross. If I go here, the child will go here, rise up. And then we'll go back to the buttons. Cool. <laughs> How's this for warping your brain? So I see the door that I am meant to go through. Maybe I just need to do that and then... Oh no, the child's got their door. So if I go to here, I can go into the door and maybe the child will too. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ooh, beautiful columns. Doesn't seem like I actually have that much movement. Oh, that button keeps the child up. It appears that all I can do, actually, is hold down the button. Oh, but you know what? This does unlock a rotating thing, so that's something. How does this? Okay. So I need to rotate it to a level in which I can continue moving? Or I guess the child will actually keep moving. Oh, nice. Keep coming? Hey, welcome. Aw. The game speaks a universal language. Nothing more human than this. Possibly time to make another shape. Nice. I don't think there's a right or wrong when it comes to making. It's just whatever your heart desires. I mean, it's always going to be symmetrical. Five point symmetry. Another section complete. Like I said, gentle difficulty curve. I do expect the last two or three sections to actually make me stop and think. I think the whole point of the game is just the overarching experience. I mean, it's very zen inducing. It's a little mysterious. It's got cool geometry. The arc archipelago where the child must find her own path. I am curious to see where the journey with the child will end up, and also, finding her own path. Is this the child's path? Oh? Okay, I can rotate this, and then when it puts down, it'll kind of create its own thing. So here we are. Maybe rotate it again. 
and then exit here. So the child's leading the way. So that's part of raising the kid. Where even are we? There we are. Ah, the child's separate. I can find the door, just straight up controlling the child now. Um, where'd she go? Went into a, oh, at the bottom. Oh, I see, I definitely should be going into the blue door. Well, that's my only other option. So the blue door is up here, here's a button. I actually like how it denotes the different doors. Yeah, it's got different lighting to show which goes where. Well, now this button has unlocked itself. Something for the mother? Oh! Okay, this little bridge can be moved. Up top. That'll take me to this button. Or maybe the gray exit, and that's just the level. Nice. Child's first world manipulation. All part of a healthy childhood and personal growth. Okay, so this mechanic again. Where did the mother even go? Just disappearing. Weird. Well, how about I rotate this, see if this will connect. It does. Now I'm on my own. Is there anything I can do here? Well, I can maybe... Oh. Oh, I can... Ah, yes. Do the impossible geometry. Make them connect. And go to the button. Creates a taller staircase. Maybe I just gotta go back onto here again. And this'll take me somewhere. Like the exit. Alright, alright. More multi-part worlds. Rotating hedge arch. This rotates. There you go. Now I'm on the other one. And now, what the heck does this blue button do? It swaps them. What about this yellow one? Swap it again. I think I'll go back to the original swap because it looks like this door teleports me to up here. And then I just need to get on and then transfer from yellow to yellow and get up to the red button. Is that all it takes? Um, nearly. I might need to get back on green. Yeah, by the looks of things, I'll need to swap it out again, which is fine. And get on... Like that. Were we playing that flute? I just noticed the musical notes coming out of the mother's face. Maybe whistling? Ooh, this is cool. Wow. How does this one even work? What the? All right, that one hurts my brain a little. She has done well, but some lessons must be learned alone. Solitude brings its own perspective. And you both have more to see. That we do. Well, let's carry on. Oh, oh. Alright, how does this thing move? Interesting. Allows us to move to the button. Form a nice spire. What is this? Oh! There we go. Reaching this area. Is the child going to uh, put the hat and release its souls? Yeah, I guess that's actually what's happening. We're releasing souls. I think that was what was going on in the first game. It was a year ago, so I'm trying to remember. We were releasing captured souls into the wild? This is almost like a shrine for the now freed souls. I'll be going on a boat journey. The docks. It's just the docks. Nothing else to it. Well, so far this actually might be my favorite looking environment. It's 
got the whole city. The uniform architecture. And are we gonna solve some boat puzzles? Oh no. Hugging almost seems like they're separating. There's enough space for two. There's no reason for you to, okay. All right, well, I guess uh, we trust the child enough for to her to go out on her own into the world. Must be a hard part of parenthood. Huh. Well, I wonder whose story we're gonna be following then. Maybe the child. Maybe the two stories at the same time. Okay, looks like uh, the child's away for now. The towers in which there remain other pursuits for the heart. Oh boy. Whoa, there goes all the color. That is, that's actually kind of heavy. Without the child, it kind of feels colorless and almost empty. Right, this is very touchy, okay. Well, I'll walk across and around. And this helped me walk across even further. What does this button do? All right, just then makes us a nice little bendy bend. How about this button? And allows me to walk on over. One more rotation and I'm out. Oh, you can actually see the boat at the bottom. So almost feels like a hazy memory. Very depressing place. And a single little piece of color. Wow, okay. Oh, everything rotating is so trippy. I love this. This is cool. Reach the door, that just takes me out. To the inner sanctum. All right, this little, um, I can't remember the term for this, but it brings it up. Feels like a <laughs> car jack almost. Uh, sometimes it feels like nothing has changed when everything is different. Separate paths can be still be part of the same journey. Your journey is one that must continue. And time to continue. I feel like I gotta walk up here. More impossible connections. This works. And getting up the top isn't as easy as you may think, but there we go. No, 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 no. Now we got it. We've got it. Blue, yellow, colors coming back. Very basic colors. All right, more of this mechanic. I do like this mechanic, so. I don't feel robbed by continuing to do it. This is probably just the harder version. Are we meant to connect with the actual colors out there? I don't know. This makes a path. Oh, that is weird. Okay. even go from here oh on to the singular piece which can take me a little further there we go on to the darker black and I'm out come on more color like we're finding our own way it's the Sun how's this move up and down side to side if I bring this up, I can walk on over here and go side to side and raise this up again. Bring it down to the button. Lit one. So stand here. Walk on back. Come back over. Bring this back up and then bring this over and then bring this back. Pretty. This comes up and down. Hmm. Okay, I see. I have to get to this little elbow macaroni piece. Just bring it up, bring this over, bring this back down, 
to the macaroni I go. Bring this back up. And come back down, and I'm basically there. Self journey. I wonder when we'll re reunite with our child. You know, probably send her off to college. A good four years, and then we'll be back at it again. God, this is a sweet color, actually. Uh, pretty gold. With another completed section. All right, I see some blue. Things are looking up color-wise. I mean, we did end on a golden sky view, so a Ophelion, where Ro visits an old friend. Friend? Well, surely not the child. I feel like we wouldn't, wouldn't use the term friend for our own offspring. <gasps> oh, this friend is the pillar. Oh my god, what my favorite character from the main game. Of course. Can't actually control anything about it right now, but soon. It's got a bit of a glow up. It's blue. It's got a twisty bottom. Yeah, it's the sliding pillar. Oh, there it goes. That's fine. I'll, I don't need that. I can just ride on top of you. Look how excited it is. Here's the catch, though. I actually gotta get out of its way. Well, or it's... Like, I... Yeah. Just gotta get out of my way if I want to get to the door. Well, I can stand here and go on through and have this follow me. No escape. And I'll get the button. Ah, uh, and we continue together. This game's at its best when you control more than one thing at a time. Just means there's gonna be more combinations and ways to manipulate the environment, and that makes it more fun to me. What does this do? Interesting. Well, I guess what I could do is stand here, get... Oh, I see, I see, hold on. Rotate this, stand here, get out of the way, and bring it all the way... I don't know, actually. Oh! Well, if I bring this guy on, and then rotate... Now, that's a bridge. <laughs> Sorry for stepping on your eye. I didn't mean to. Cool! How does this thing work? It's just up and down. This is weird. I can't bring it there with me on it. Is this gonna crush it? No, it's gonna bring the entire thing up. Good. I was gonna be very sad if I had to kill off my friend again. Uh, right. Speaking of, I can put this here and raise the entire thing up. What, what good does that actually do me? I don't know, I can, I can walk this far. Can I, like, get over? What can I even do? Can I walk on... Ah, I can walk on my buddy here. Nice. So I can walk this far. But this, like, twists, so I'm not going to be getting any further. I'll get back on you. Can I walk on... What else can I walk on? I can walk up here? And then bring the buddy over here to make it to the button. That's a walkable surface. Cool. And time for another button. This one seems a little bit harder to get on, huh? Yeah, I gotta get on his eyeball side. Oh. Whoops. That can be done from over here. That didn't take too long. Oh, the eye is just blinks while I'm standing on it. It's good to know that uh, I'm not putting cleats into his eyeballs. Eyeball. It's reassuring. Oh. 
I, 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 that did not sound right. Well, it's okay. What does this button do? Slowly lets me approach my friend. He's a door. Dude's just straight up a door. I love it. I will gladly go inside of you. Where does this even take me? I got swallowed whole. Am I going to buddy pillar land? Ooh, well that's colorful. Menatol reflections unfold old memories. The zoom. <laughs> The infinite zoom in. Oh, sick. Okay, not quite infinite, but pretty far in. What can I even do? Okay, just go to the door. And I zoom in. Oh, God. What the? Did I see my the previous layer? I feel like I gotta walk on to whatever this is. Do a nice little pivot. And then walk on to whatever this is. And pivot again. Nice, I could just walk normally into the door. Oh, I look small. Oh, this is a child. We're back. Okay, how do things move? Get my kid going over here. Let me get myself onto the steps and bring my kid in bye she just moves on her own wait come back so i gotta step down stand on here like the, the kids show me how to solve the level she's a grown up she can teach me things i don't know what the blob is still Okay. And that is a weird angle. I think I can actually walk out from this one. This angle still does not make much sense to me. But I just have to trust that it does. All I can do is get on the staircase up here. What's up with the music? Kind of reminds me of a shitty flute. I guess it's whimsical and playful enough. Nope, it's definitely a shitty flute. The shittiest of the flutes. Uh, does this work? Oh, I see. I see, I see. I've got to get up here. Rotate it, and now I can exit. Dude, look at that ladder split. Oh, she's up there. My kid was up there. Well, sorry for calling it shitty. At least I didn't, like, say it loud enough for her to hear. It's beautiful because my child made it. And that's that. Wait, is that just my memory? That's what I did. Is this just a memory within a memory within a memory? Within the void? Thank you for showing the way. Pillar friend. I mean, I have to go here. Maybe it's just the... Taking me to where I need to be. We will continue on our journey after I make a shape. <gasps> Alright, what kind of shape do I want to make today? That'll do. Very minimal. But it just feels right, you know? Another section down. When will we actually reuni reunite with a child? 
Well, it looks like more journeys with my friend, at least. The botanical gardens in which strange doorways offer new possibilities. So be it. Yeah, I'll bring the doorway to me. And uh, maybe stand on top and exit here. All right, so we're exploring the doorway mechanic more. I've got a new cape. Oh, I think I gotta move my buddy buddy. Yeah, you gotta do me a little solid hero. I don't even know where I wanna go yet. <laughs> I love how his eye just blinks every time I stand on it. You can step here. Oh, but I can't rotate it right now. Yeah, I still don't fully know where I wanna go. I guess I can walk this far? That doesn't change anything. Hmm. Well, I guess I could go into the door now. Maybe it's just that easy? Well, I'm kind of just chilling up there. Oh, but if I have the door exit elsewhere. I see. Like, example for here. I could stand on an entirely different plane. Okay, that's cool. But now I still gotta make it up. Oh, and there we go. God, you. These things are so hard to see until you actually do them. The mind tricks, man. Okay, again, enter the door before doing anything. This goes up very far and down. I mean, damn, this goes a long way up. Can I even go through the door? Okay, it just looks off the edge. And smartly does nothing. Well, I can get on its head here and find out what this does. Okay, maybe now I go up? Wait, really? Well, hold on then. All right, back on the head. Oh, it's got a hold though. Hang on, what? Well, I guess I could bring this guy to there. And that's an exit. Nice. Okay. Another dream vision thing. In our haste in looking forward, we too often forget the past. Time will not be altered, and while it passes, your purpose remains unchanged. Our monuments lie unfinished, and we look to you to continue our work. Ooh, the door is gone. Well, how about I stand here to release more souls? So a beach background, kind of. All right. Oh. Game's got you accepted. I made a circle. my head off. Oh, we're just enjoying the view. It's funny, it's like, this is half beach, half night sky, and there's the water transition. Absolutely seamless. Well, we follow the kid's story now. Really been out at sea this whole time? We accomplished a lot while that voyage was still going. Hopefully they have adequate food. Also, I guess the the uh, shapes I made, they still are here on the main menu. Oh, it is a branching path. Cool. We do get to follow the child's story. Well, I'm excited to see where this leads. The Lyceum? In which the first steps are not always the easiest. Yes, this will not be an easy journey. 
but one I must take. Why did I? No, no, no. There we go. Oh, the first steps were actually, in fact, very easy. I'm sure it's gonna feel more and more puzzling. Uh, a bit of a daunting area. How does this rotate? Strangely, of course. Well, I can make it to whatever this section is. And... Now to whatever this section is. And then to the button. Woof! And I could probably get to that button now? Just gotta take multiple steps. From here, and now I'll go across. And what do you open? Just the higher ground? Oh, it's not that easy. Oh, wait, two doors? Okay, let's try the moving door. Where does this go? Here? That's all? Interesting. Well, this should surely work. Okay. Oh, it's gloomy. We miss our mom? Possibly. Okay, so this goes up and down, and this can rotate a bit. Well, I see. I lower and rotate to get over here. And then raise it. Oh, I guess leave it rotated. Oh, I can bring it down right now. Oh, but I can't rotate it, so. Let's bring it back and bring this down. There we go. Maybe it's just rain. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. It rains sometimes outside. Very foggy and gloomy rain, though. So this goes very far down. And it'll rotate. We're exactly what I want this to be. Well, once I step on, I can still raise it. Maybe this will help me visualize well to here. Sure. And a nice little rotation. Funny, impossible geometry. How do I get to the top, huh? Ah, like this. Up I go. And out I step. Oh. Oh. Okay, it just rotates. Cool. So we get these visions too. Our shadows grow long as we wait for one worthy to take up our mantle. She has taught you well, but there is still more to learn. The path will be hard, but remember, we walked it too. It's a coming of age story. I'm ready. Oh, possibly some of our own pillars. I don't know if we'll have our own buddy friends. That would be kind of cool. Like we get a, a pillar friend junior that's only like two tall. Maybe three tall. Certainly not four tall. We even got our own jar of souls. Wait. We're collecting the souls, though. Oh, yeah, this is the inverse of uh, what our mom is doing. My soul. So, is, are these creatures' lives just an, a cycle of capturing souls? And then releasing souls? Just the big flat circle of progress. The orchard in which a transformation is completed. Is this just Ouroboros the game? I don't know if I've mentioned this in a video, but I feel like just in life, or at least in video gaming over the, like the past three or four years, I've noticed Ouroboros in some form or another in a lot of ways. It's just in so many places. It's just a constant recurring theme. 
don't know if everyone has just decided that they like the imagery and the idea of it. Or if I'm reading into things too much. Or if there's some deeper meaning to it, I don't know. Curious if anyone else has noticed something like that. Well, anyway, this is... This is cool. You get to grow plants with the light. And move here. Dude, I become tiny. That is trippy. Rotate this around a little. Don't want to grow it? Or maybe I do? Oh, I can stand on here, I see. Pivot me around. To up here. And then I can pivot this around to here. And then I'm so small! And I can exit now. It's gotta be hard on the stomach. What does this button do? Brings in the plant. The hedge. And it will continue to provide a way for me. Oh, I see. It's taller, slightly larger. Get on it. Whoops. Transfer to the other one. And reach this button. I hope the tree gets even bigger now. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, so what does this thing do? It goes just up and down. Bring me... how far? Rotate a little, stand on this. And then... I could go into the door. And reach up top. Whatever this button does. Will it grow bigger? Oh, this tree is becoming huge! Oh, he's even got his own door. Everything's got a door now. At some point, I'm gonna open up and there's gonna be a door inside of me. Oh? Oh, it won't let me slide. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've blossomed. Literally transformed. Alright, this is the sunken city in which sacred geometry awaits. Nice. I'm excited. Oh cool. You can transfer the bridge. Alright, grabbing bridges and transferring them. That was not in the first game if I remember right. Oh god. Please tell me I can breathe underwater. Oh, okay, good, I'm fine. This goes very far down. This rotates, this... Oh, I see, hold on. Rotates, this can be brought down, and then back up. Very cool. One bridge to rule them all. Um, well, there's a lot of ways to rotate this. I'll probably transfer over to here. Stand on this and go touch the button. Transfer, transfer. Oh, the bridge is longer. It has swallowed its contemporary. Um, this doesn't quite feel right. Will it let me walk? Uh, it's, just, it's not quite right. Unless, if this can rotate it. Well, that's a start. Still doesn't solve the puzzle for me, though. Oh, I see, though. If I stand on it, this will rotate enough. That's probably all I need. Right, some things can be moved while you're on, and some things can't. Uh, there is a visual pattern for it. It has to do like whether there's a big twisty thing like this. Oh yeah, this can literally twist. I forgot about this mechanic. 
So if it's like circles, it can move with me on it. But if it's like a cog or wheel sort of thing, then it can't. You've grown so much, and though one lesson is ending, many more lie ahead. Our spirits are restless. When your promise is fulfilled, we will be ready for your return. And the journey continues. So this is a cool mechanic, for sure. Um, I'm gonna stand right, or put that right there. Let's see, this can rotate as long as I'm not on it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can grab it like that, but I gotta actually get on first somehow. I mean, I guess I can, oh, I see, I see. Rotate this and then rotate here. I'm, there we go. And make it up top. Oh, and I've released the one soul I've captured. Okay, I guess I'm not all that bad. I get to make my own shape. Got hexagonal symmetry. Cool. Another section complete. I wonder if we will be meeting up with our mother soon. Oh, well, yeah, how about that? Night and day. The reunion. This would make a very sensible last section, huh? Mirador or a reunion? Maybe it could be 15. 15 is a nice round number to end on. Oh. We've been waiting for you, child. Come join the circle of the shapes. Ah, even grown in height. That's just heartwarming. Well, I gotta control them individually now. Very fun. How does this thing move? Oh, it rotates the entire environment. A little jittery. A little touchy. I'll get the hang of it. Okay, I can get to here. I've gotta work at both characters at the same time. This is nice. Well, I can get the, oh, hold on, I can get the mother and the child to advance and get them both to their buttons at the same time. Look at us making a great team. And well, the mother can get to her button. The child also can, just doesn't appear that way at first. Unlocking whatever the heck this is. Well, let's get the child to go across first. And then the mother leading the way. They can exit together. Not even waiting up for her mom. They're just eager to continue on, alright. How does this even move? Oh, oh. So here's the child. And here's the mom. So stand here and rotate. Uh, I'm not quite sure where the heck I want to go. get the child to go here. Well, maybe eventually they can link up. Oh, well, the mother can continue. And continue a little further. Continue to continue. Got one of them done. Oh, nice. Allowing the child to progress. Stand up here and now... No? There's gotta be something here, right? Oh, there's a door. That'll do. Well, the mother's still gotta get out. Did not expect to feel so alone. 
Oh, I see where to get out. Okay. How do I get up to that great height? I don't see it. How on earth? Oh, wait a second. Does this move up and down with this? Oh, it does. Okay. That's the secret. You stand here. You bring it down. And then that leads me to the door. Wow, that was very well hidden. Okay, I'll get the child first, and we'll also press this button. Mending some pillars, dragging this down, and can be rotated. Let's grab another button. So I can now bring this up, but not that far. And now I can bring this up for whatever button that is. I don't even know what my goal is. Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay, there's probably still more. I, I can walk on this. Oh, oh, this is all traversable. What a cool section. Uh-oh, buttons right away. Mandatory buttons. Woo, look at that slide. Um, maybe... Oh! Being on that button's important. Let's get the mother on this button. But hold on, this may allow me to enter now. I cannot get much higher. But I can raise the mother and rotate this, reaching a button over here. And I still gotta get the child over here, huh? I kind of see. So we get the child on here, lower this, and eventually I can get up. Nice. Oh, I'm wondering if we're gonna like both get a vision together. Uh, let's bring the child, oops, child across. And then the mother. And... Mother to her button. And then... Oh, interesting. Child to here, because I need the child to get over to this section. Maybe be standing on the moving part. So now I can walk to the button. Oh, and this lowers? So I guess I can bring the mother to over here and then to the other button herself. Okay, that works. Right there. Nice. Yeah, so many tricks, so many visual things you have to consider. You gotta have a good mind's eye to picture where everything will go and what everything does. It's... It's actually hard to pick out everything, but I feel like I'm actually doing a pretty good job so far. Oh, one to the button, the other to the soul shrine. Oh, the other to the other soul shrine. Together we will release our souls. Hopefully. Yeah! Beautiful! All the sacred geometry together in one place. Now, one more thing to make. Nice! That's a pretty snowflake. Damn, is that really the end? Uh, this was shorter than the first game. It only took an hour 15. First game was like an hour 45? 
Honestly, I still liked its length. It didn't overstay its welcome. Told a nice arc. There may or may not be DLC for this game. I don't know. This was fun, though. You know, just as fun as the first game and the first game's DLC. I uh, had a good time. Oh, what might this be? Ah, cool. I have not completed the Lost Forest. So that's the only other thing. If you guys want me to check that out, let me know. Could be good for Zen puzzling. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Monument Valley 2 on Steam in beautiful panoramic HD. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.